Hello everyone. In this section, we are going to learn an amazing method called splice. This method can be used to add, remove, insert or replace array elements. The single method with different syntax we can use to do various types of operations. Let's first of all create an array. Let vehicles be a car, bike, bus and a truck. When I display this, just to check whether the array is created properly or not, let's run this code. So here we have four elements in this array. Now let's start using the splice method to remove an element. I will say vehicles dot splice. Now this method takes the first parameter as the start or the index number. So if I give index number 1 that means whatever operation is to be done it will start from the first index number. So here it will be the second element that is the bike. So let's say I want to start some operation let's say I want to insert replace or remove but here we are going to remove an element. So from the start of first that is index number one how many elements we want to remove? Let's say I just give one. It means that starting from this bike I want one element to be removed. Let's run this and see what is the output. Now as you can see the array has three elements only. The bike is removed. So if I give two here, then from the first index number, that is starting from one index number, that is actually the second element, we want to remove two elements. So this is a delete count. So here you can imagine the syntax something like this. So this is how you can remove elements from array. What if I give, uh, let's say this uh, array has four elements. What if I give nine here? That means I am giving a number which is more than the actual length of array, right? In such case, splice will not give any error. On the contrary, it will work accordingly. That is starting from one it will try to remove all nine elements though the array doesn't have nine elements so eventually it removes all the elements the rest of the elements that is so this is how we remove elements from array using the splice method now let's discuss about inserting an element For example, on the index number 1, that is the second element, at the second element, you want to insert a value. Now of course, when you say you want to insert, that means the delete count should be 0 because you are not supposed to delete anything. And then you can keep on adding multiple values here. Let's say I want to add a cycle here. Let's run this and see what is the output. Now the array is of five elements. At the first index number, there is nothing to delete, but yes, there is a value which we need to insert. So as you can see now, car, cycle, cycle is now the first element. You can also add more elements here. You can keep on adding. Let's say I want to add an SUV value here. That means starting from first index, there is nothing to delete. And of course, I want to add two values. So now, if I run this, 
there are two values added that is cycle and SUV starting from the first index number. So inserting is also very easy this way. But what if you give a number here instead of zero? Let's say I give one and let us observe the output. If I give one here, it means starting from first index, there will be one value which is deleted. So in a way, bike should be deleted and cycle should be added. So for the end user, it is like replacing a value. Let's say I do not want SUV for the moment. I just give this way. That means starting at 1, I want to delete first element and also add cycle. So in a way, I am saying that replace bike with cycle. So this will perform the replace operation. You see this now? Car, cycle, bus and truck. So now this value is replaced with this type of syntax. Of course, again I put SUV back and then we run. So now bike is removed, cycle is there and SUV is also there. So when you give the index number 1, that means starting from 1, you want to delete and you want to add as well. So when you say 0 here, it means it's going to perform an insert operation. But if you give a number, let's say I give 2 here. That means starting from 1, we want to delete 2 elements, bike and bus. And then these two values are replaced in a way with cycle and SUV. So now let's run this. Car, cycle, SUV and truck. This is how you deal with removing, inserting or replacing elements in an array. Of course, if you want to add at the beginning or add at the end, that is if you want to append, then the only thing you need to do is, let's say I want to append two values in this array. I don't want to delete anything, so I'm going to say 0 here. And we already have 0, 1, 2 and 3. So fourth position, I want to add this. Let's run this. So now we have an append operation performed on the array. Splice also returns the removed items as an array. For example, let's say I do not want anything to insert here. But yes, from the first position, I want to remove two elements. And these two elements, I want to have it an array. Let's say I take a new array, deleted elements. So once this line is executed, it will remove two elements, but those removed elements will be returned in this new array. Let's try to display the value of DE, that is the deleted elements. So now we have bike and bus which are removed from the original array and the new array is returned. Of course, array vehicles is modified now. So splice works on the original array. Removed elements are returned in this new array. So splice is an amazing method which can add, remove, replace, insert elements in the array.